What's up guys, Tristan Niger here with another video. Today we're going to talk about UFC 244 results and discussion. If you didn't see the fights, I recommend going to watch those and I recommend that you do not watch this video if you're planning to watch the fights in the future because there's going to be a lot of spoilers of on this please go watch the fights they were really good i had the chance to watch them last night and i was really impressed with a lot of the fights maybe not the main card we'll get into that a little bit later and so we're going to talk about the first fight that i was interested in which was Corey anderson versus johnny walker Corey anderson won in the first round via tko i did not predict this i thought johnny walker was going to win i thought Corey anderson was a slow starter i got that from the alert latifi fight he came out not as crazy and sporadic Whereas in this fight, he came out guns blazing. And when he saw his opportunity against Johnny Walker, he went in and took it. And boy, did it pay off. And he came out like, at the end, he looked just insane. Like, he was so crazy. And I watched a little bit of the post-fight press conference. And Dana White talking about him. Like, he's trying to, he said he's going to try and get out of his contract if he doesn't get a title shot. He does not deserve a title shot right now. No one in the light heavyweight division ready for John Jones yet. They need to be coming off a few more wins before they can go again against him and I think John Jones is going to fight the winner between Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic at heavyweight I really hope that happens because those are incredible fights whether it's John Jones or Steve Daniel Cormier at heavyweight or Stipe I don't think Dominic Reyes is good enough right now he arguably lost to Vulcan I thought he lost to Vulcan Ozdemir Corey Anderson just isn't there yet he, I think he can, needs one more fight either against Reyes I think him versus Reyes would be a really, really cool fight. Or even Vulcan would be a good fight for Corey. We'll see how that goes. I think the light heavyweight division is starting to look pretty cool again. And even uh, Anthony Smith would be a really good fight against Corey Anderson. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, Anthony Smith would be a really good fight. They're both coming off wins. They're both really good. Anthony Smith already fought John Jones, so it doesn't make sense for him to fight him right now. If he beats Corey Anderson really convincingly than Dominic Reyes versus Anthony Smith or the winner of that versus Dominic Reyes. I don't see John Jones fighting in light heavyweight for a little while and I don't know what that'll do to the title. I don't know if they'll give it up but I don't see John Jones fighting anyone in light heavyweight in the tough for the time being. I think he'll probably go up to heavyweight and finally fight one of those guys. More on that later because we had a big heavyweight fight later but first of all we'll go into or next, we'll go into Kevin Lee versus Gregor Gillespie. I predicted this one quite well. I knew Kevin Lee would come out a new fighter. He won first round in spectacular fashion. It was a right cross into a left high kick, and it shut the lights out on Gregor Gillespie. And his post-fight interview was really cool because he didn't call anyone out like he normally does. He wasn't being super cringy like he was at the weigh-ins. He just thanked his team, and... I could see him fighting anyone in the top 10. It'd be so interesting, whoever he fights, whether it's Paul Felder, Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, that would be a really good fight because they're both shit talkers. And I think that could be, that's the most enticing fight, in my opinion, for Conor. I'm not, it doesn't blow my hair back that he fights Donald Cerrone. I think he wins that fight. I don't see him fighting Justin Gaethje because Justin Gaethje has a lot of holes in his stand-up. And I think Conor McGregor would be able to exploit that. The good part about Kevin Lee is that he gives Conor McGregor a challenge. And I think that would be a really competitive fight. Whereas against Justin Gaethje or Conor McGregor or uh, Donald Cerrone, I think Conor wins that. You could also see Kevin Lee fighting Dan Hooker, Justin Gaethje, Anthony Pettis. Any of those guys look like great fights for him at lightweight. And I can't wait to see his next fight, to be honest. He looked really, really good. And I was really rooting for him to win that. Him and Darren Till winning was like like Cinderella stories because they're both coming off big losses. Kevin Lee's coach died. It's just really good to see those guys uh, pick up a win. On to Derek Lewis versus Blagoy Ivanov and holy moly. I got that prediction right but just barely. It was a third round I think split decision and those guys were trading shots and Ivan Ivanov took a shot from Derek Lewis. Holy three rounds of just getting bludgeoned. Like he got hit with some bomb. And that's just what Joe Rogan said in the Octagon interview. You gotta watch his Octagon interview as well. Derek Lewis was so funny. I, I'll let you watch it. Go watch that on YouTube. It's up there. I think UFC posted it. Really good fight. Derek showed so much heart. He, Blagoy Ivanov had him in a Kimura on the ground. And there was a few girls watching with me at this party along with the other guys. And the girls had to cover their eyes because his his arm was getting bent 
like the other way and it looked like he was totally going to tap the commentator thought he was going to tap and somehow he gets out of it it was insane that Komura was tight and his arm looked man i can't imagine what it was like after that in the pain like just shows me that derek's got a lot of heart and he does he, he says that every time he's he's got a lot of heart i'd really like to see derek lose fighting again and i know a lot of you would probably roll your eyes thinking because their last fight was so stupid and they did hardly threw any punches at all. I think Francis is a new guy. He's less shy. He could come out. I think that would be a really sick fight because Francis doesn't have a dance partner. Stipe and D DC are going to have their second fight. Then John Jones will come up and fight. The winner of them, I'm hoping that happens. And then the winner of Derek versus Francis would fight John Jones. The winner of John Jones versus whoever wins Daniel Cormier versus Stipe, if that makes sense. I think that'd be really cool. Really like how that's shaping up in the heavyweight division. Really hope John Jones goes up there and mixes things up. That would be really, really interesting, and I think a lot of people are hoping for that. Next fight was Stephen Thompson versus uh, Vicente Luque. Another prediction that was right. I think this one was a little bit easier to predict. Easier to predict. If Vicente uh, lost via third round decision, and it was a clear, clear decision, boy, did he get lit up and it was just like my my prediction is like if you can't outstrike mike perry and you almost lose in a split decision versus him i don't know if that was a split decision i think it was a split decision versus mike perry but if you can't outstrike mike perry and you go up against stephen thompson you are gonna get lit up and that's exactly what happened and visante was face was just so battered and beat that uh, it, was, it was a mismatch in my opinion you know visante could have knocked him out it could have been a close fight but he didn't get it done. Really like to see Stephen Thompson versus RDA, Leon Edwards, or even maybe even Santiago Ponzinibbio. That'd be a really good fight. Interested to see what Stephen Thompson will do next uh, Next up. Next fight was Darren Till versus Kelvin Gastelum. One of the lesser exciting fights, which kind of sucked, but it was really cool to see Darren win via third round decision. Finally, after being 0-2 in the past two, he was finally able, like Kevin Lee, to bounce back and finally get a win, win under the belt and in a in a new weight class, which is really cool. I like I really like Darren and I think he's got a lot of potential. He's still young, real young. I would really like to see him versus Jared Cannonier. The Killer Gorilla. It's Gorilla versus Gorilla. Darren the Gorilla versus Jared Killer Gorilla. I don't know who in that who says that one, but I really like that fight. Easy to market that fight, and I would really like to see Darren Till win that between the two gorillas. Last but not least was Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal. Oh, and by the way, I predicted the Darren Till fight correctly, which was really cool. So I think I'm I got four predictions right four to six i got right which was cool because nate diaz lost against jorge masvidal it was doctor stoppage by jorge jorge looked unbelievably good they were both saying that they want to run it back but i think that was a total mismatch unless nate was wasn't lying about his cardio and stuff he was saying in the post hoc interview that he had an injury that he wasn't able to run as much and that he was going to start turning it up in the fourth fifth round but i just don't see it going any other way in the next fight. I think Jorge was just way too good, way too strong for Nate Diaz. I don't really want to see that again. I'd watch it, but it was, it was a bit of a mismatch. I could definitely see Jorge fighting the winner of Colby versus Camaro, preferably Colby because now they're kind of like enemies and they're both former teammates. Both used to be really good friends. Now they cut ties. That would be a really cool fight if uh, Colby's able to pull it off against Camaro. I'm not particularly like into Camaro. He's not that exciting. Neither is Colby, but at least Colby's like that polarizing heel of a character and it would just make for such a good fight between Colby and Jorge. If not that fight, I would definitely like to see Jorge versus Tyron Woodley. I think that's a really cool matchup. I think Jorge actually wins that one, but we'll see. Tyron Woodley hasn't the fighting he's need to he needs to fight someone in the Walter Reed division and can't wait to see what they're about BMF title god was that ever kind of dumb like it was a cool concept at the time but the way it ended was just so lame this like small doctor comes in and he's just like checking out the the cut and he ends it it's just like woo he gets the baddest motherfucker title but he did like he won it by Dr. Stoppage. I don't I get it. I understand that the doctor has to like look up for the fighters and the cut was nasty. I understand it, but I just think it was kind of dumb. And maybe they could have let it go on for, for one more round. Maybe it could have been really damaging. You know, that's that's the fight game and that's what happened. I just think the BMF title was kind of weird and they would have gotten the same pay-per-view numbers if they didn't have the rock or this BMF title. It was just it was just weird. 
It was weird. And uh, that's it. That's it for the discussion. Hope you guys like this video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you like my content, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.